weather and climate. In this module, you will understand the general features of weather and climate and analyze the factors that control the climate of an area. How is the day today? Is it sunny and bright or damp and cold? Friends, you must have noticed that every morning we notice how the day is, whether the sun is shining bright or is under cloud cover. This day-to-day -day condition varies and we define this condition as weather. We often talk about the weather condition of various places, cities, hill stations and some other towns where our friends and relatives live. So, weather is the general state of the atmospheric condition of a place at any point of time. The condition changes with any minute change in the atmosphere. For example, daytime has sunshine and higher temperature, whereas nights have no sunshine and the temperature is lower. Wind speed also fluctuates as per the changes in temperature. Now let's discuss a state of atmospheric condition that prevails for a longer period of time. When do we wear woolens and for how long? Isn't it true that in December and January we use thick woolen clothes? Similarly, in the months of May and June, we feel hot and uncomfortable because of high temperature. Therefore, we can conclude that climate is the sum total of the weather conditions and trends of atmospheric variations for a long period of time and over a large extent of area. Now let us discuss the elements of weather and climate. The elements are same for both. These are sunshine, temperature, humidity or water vapor, pressure, wind and precipitation. We often notice that the weather conditions fluctuate during the daytime, even with a little change in the sky condition. Clear bright sky can turn into a cloudy sky and make a day gloomy. A breezy day can end up into a stormy day or a dry morning can turn up to be a wet evening. Thus observing the trend of generalized monthly atmospheric conditions, we divide a year into a number of seasons. In India, a year is divided into winter, summer and rainy seasons. When we say the climate of India, we want to say the general conditions of the temperature and precipitation of different regions of India. For example, the temperature of Jaisalmer in Rajasthan, a desert region, goes up to 50 degrees Celsius in summers. Whereas at the same time, the temperature in the mountainous region of Jammu and Kashmir is around 20 degrees Celsius. Similarly, the minimum temperature in winter season becomes as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius in the Dras sector of Jammu and Kashmir whereas it remains around 20 degrees Celsius in the coastal Kerala. If we want to examine the precipitation variation in India, it not only varies in amount and distribution, but also in types and as per seasons. For example, the type of precipitation in the high mountainous regions of Himalayas is always in the form of snowfall. On the other hand, rain falls in the rest of India. During the rainy season, Meghalaya receives over 400 centimeters of rainfall and in Rajasthan, it amounts less than 10 centimeters. It is interesting to know the factors that control the variation of temperature and precipitation of any place. These factors are called climatic control. There are six main climatic controls that affect the climate of a place. These are latitude, altitude, relief feature, air pressure and wind system, distance from the sea and ocean currents. Due to the spherical shape of the earth, the sun rays fall differently on different parts of the earth's surface. Thus the sun rays fall vertically on the equator throughout the year and are very slanting towards the two poles. Therefore, temperature is more near the equator and decreases towards the poles. The temperature decreases upward from the main sea level because the thickness of the atmosphere is less in the higher altitude. Thus, the mountains are cooler than the plains and sea sides. Similarly, the presence of mountains as a relief feature can block the rainfall or wind 
and can act as a climatic barrier. The windward side gets heavy shower and the leeward side remains almost rainless or as rain shadow. The temperature controls the pressure and wind systems of any place. As we know that the equatorial region remains hot, thus the pressure of this region is always low. The hot air goes up and thus the pressure falls. On the other hand, polar regions always have high pressure due to low temperature. The speed of wind depends on the difference of high and low pressure. Wind always blows from a high pressure area to a low pressure area. Thus, if wind comes from a water body to a landmass, it brings moisture and helps in rainfall. Coastal areas are always influenced by the marine effect. Thus, the temperature never becomes extremely hot or cold there. It remains moderate throughout the year. Sometimes, an ocean current modifies the coastal climate, such as a warm current raises the temperature along the coast, whereas a cold current lowers the temperature. Let's recap. Weather is a general state of the atmospheric condition of a place at any point of time. Climate is the sum total of the weather conditions for a long period of time and over a large extent of area. The elements of weather and climate are sunshine, temperature, humidity, pressure, wind and precipitation. On the basis of generalized atmospheric conditions, the climate of a place is divided into summer and winter season. Precipitation varies greatly on the basis of amount, distribution, types and seasons. Temperature is more near the equator and decreases towards the poles. The thickness of the atmosphere is less in the higher altitude, which is why the mountains are cooler than the plains and the seaside. A relief feature can block the rainfall or wind and can act as a climatic barrier. The pressure of the equatorial region is always low, whereas in the mountainous and the polar regions, it is always high. The temperature remains moderate throughout the year near the coastal regions.